What happens if an enemy force is doing something aggressive? What's the appropriate response under international law? I am currently the Assistant Senior Trial Counsel. Most of us join in law school, so we've already kind of made a decision that we want to be lawyers. We have other responsibilities that come with the uniform. We're, we're officers first and foremost. We deploy on ships. I am uh, trying to qualify officer of the deck. My door is open, the, the legal office door is open for sailors to just come in. If they have any questions, we're there to, to help them. Any legal issues that come up, whether it's uh, discipline or ethics, I'll be in charge of advising the commanding officer of that ship on how to dispose of those issues. I am in the trial department, which means that we litigate cases. When a sailor or Marine is alleged to have committed a crime in violation of the Uniform Code of Military Justice, one of the ways we can dispose of those cases is through a court martial. I supervise three uh, what we call core counsel prosecutors. As a team, we, we look at the evidence that comes in, we work closely with NCIS, and we'll put on our evidence in front of the jury and make our arguments and see what happens. Sometimes it's writing a letter to an aggressive landlord. Sometimes it's doing a power of attorney. Sometimes it's drafting a will for people. We have environmental lawyers, command services, and legal assistants. We have JAGs who deploy with Navy SEALs and help advise them on the kinetic environments, the things that pop up right away, that they need legal opinions on right then that have real uh, life or death consequences. The skill set that we're bringing with us is an ability to give competent legal analysis in a variety of environments.